The Bible, a collection of sacred texts revered by billions, holds immense importance in human history. But what if there were other scriptures lost to time, offering new perspectives on faith? These lost books weren't simply misplaced or forgotten. They represent a diverse body of literature from the same period as the New Testament. The process by which certain texts were included in the Bible, while others were excluded, was a complex and often contentious one. Early Christian communities produced a wealth of writings, including Gospels, letters, apocalypses and Acts. Not all of these texts were considered to be authoritative or inspired. One crucial factor was apostolicity, meaning that a text was believed to have been written by an apostle or a close associate of an apostle. Another important criterion was orthodoxy, meaning that a text conformed to the emerging consensus on Christian doctrine. The early church fathers, influential leaders and theologians, played a significant role in shaping the biblical canon. They debated the merits of various texts, considering their theological content, historical accuracy and overall message. The process of canonization was gradual and wasn't finalized until centuries after the time of Jesus. Among the most intriguing of the lost books is the Gospel of Thomas, a collection of 114 sayings attributed to Jesus. Discovered in Egypt in 1945, the text offers a unique perspective on Jesus' teachings, emphasizing wisdom, self-knowledge, and the search for the divine within. Unlike the canonical Gospels, which present narratives of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, the Gospel of Thomas focuses primarily on his sayings. Some scholars believe that the Gospel of Thomas may preserve some of the earliest known sayings of Jesus, possibly predating the canonical Gospels. The Gospel of Thomas provides valuable insights into the diversity of early Christian thought. The Book of Enoch, an ancient Jewish apocalyptic text, offers a glimpse into mystical beliefs before the time of Jesus. Though not canonical, it influenced early Christian thought on angels, demons, and the end times. Attributed to Enoch, Noah's great-grandfather, who was taken to heaven and given visions. It describes a cosmic struggle between good and evil, with angels and demons vying for control. Its influence is seen in the New Testament, especially in Revelation. The lost books of the Bible provide a window into the diversity and dynamism of early Christianity. They reveal a wide range of beliefs and practices, reflecting the different ways in which early Christians interpreted the message of Jesus and sought to live out their faith. These texts shed light on the development of Christian doctrine. They show how early Christians grappled with key theological concepts, such as the nature of God, the person of Christ and the meaning of salvation. By studying these lost books, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complexities of early Christian thought. The lost books also offer insights into the social and cultural context in which Christianity emerged. They reflect the influence of Jewish and Greco-Roman ideas on early Christian thought. However, the study of lost books is not without its controversies. The lost books of the Bible continue to fascinate and intrigue us today. They challenge us to broaden our perspectives on early Christianity. They invite us to consider the diversity of beliefs and practices that existed in the early church. These texts remind us that the development of Christianity was a complex and multifaceted process. The study of lost books is not about replacing or diminishing the authority of the Bible, rather, it is about deepening our understanding of the historical and cultural context in which the Bible was written. As we continue to explore the world of lost scriptures, we open ourselves to new insights and perspectives. We gain a deeper appreciation for the challenges faced by early Christians.